Have you ever wondered if your trolls, i.e. the people who write nasty comments on your posts, are really people that you know personally and not just some random from the internet? Well, you might be right. It's been revealed that an influencer called Clemmie Hooper, who had over 700,000 followers on her Instagram account, Mother of Daughters, was living a double life as an internet troll. What is great? You're watching Inform Overload. We do the news and spill the tea. I'm Charlotte Dobra and sh do I got some tea to spill today? Subscribe for spicy news updates and top 10 lists and follow us on social media. Clammy Hooper runs the Instagram account Mother of Daughters, which used to have 700,000 followers. It doesn't anymore. Not since this scandal broke. On this account, she would document her idyllic family life as a mother of four. But Clemmy wasn't only living life as a wholesome mommy influencer. She's also an internet troll called Alice in Wonderlust, who posted mean comments on a gossip forum called Tattle Life. Alice in Wonderlust had vendettas against mumfluencers like Bethy Hungerford, aka Hunger Mama on Instagram. She went on the forum and called Bethy names, like desperate, and claimed she was using another group of influencers for her podcast. But Clemmy wouldn't only bitch about other influencers, she also used Alice in Wonderlust to say bad things about her own husband, who she called a class act twat. So how did she get exposed? How did people find out? Alice in Wonderlust talked on her account about going to the Caribbean at the same time that Clemmy was in the Caribbean. Users began to catch wind that Alice in Wonderlust could be Clemmy. This account would strangely make mean comments about Clemmy's competitors, but always had nice things to say about Clemmy. Then another momfluencer, Mummy Smile on Instagram, aka Laura Rutherford, posted a photo of a white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland, making reference to the Alice in Wonderlust troll account, asking the person behind the account to come forward. Her post said, Dear Alice, I don't owe it to you to remain quiet. You've goaded and encouraged trolls to tear my reputation apart for the last eight months. Mine and a handful of other influencers, for what gain? No, I won't talk to you or discuss with you your justifications for online bullying. There is absolutely no justification for this behavior. As someone that is on this platform to support other women, talk about accountability and stand up for myself when people attempt to bring me down, I won't stay silent. How can I? That contradicts who I am and why I'm on here. It's not even about the words that have been said. It's the betrayal of trust. To say I'm hurting is an understatement. What gives you the right to play with people's mental health? For so long, I've had to grin and bear the derogatory comments, the angst of what people think of me, where the malice has come from. You looked me in the eye and asked me how I'm doing when I've been at my lowest. How dare you? I haven't and never would wish anything bad on anyone. You yourself have been at the hands of trolls and you know exactly what it does to you. This is your time to come forward and start doing the right thing by everyone that is affected. Whew! After this post was made, Clemmy came forward and posted stories to her Instagram story, confirming that she's been posting online under a false identity. She said, Earlier this year, I became aware of a website that had thousands of comments about my family and I. Reading them made me feel extremely paranoid and affected me much more than I knew at the time. I decided without telling one that I would make an anonymous account so that this group of people wouldn't believe I was one of them and that I could change their opinions from the inside to defend my family and I. She went on in another post. It became all consuming and it grew bigger than I knew how to handle. When the user started to suspect it was me, I made the mistake of commenting about others. I regret it all and I'm deeply sorry. I know this has caused a lot of pain. Undoubtedly. I got lost in this online world and the more I became engrossed in the negative commentary, the more the situation escalated. Engaging in this was a huge mistake. I will take responsibility for what happened and I'm just so sorry for the hurt I've caused everyone involved, including my family and friends. So, I bet you're kind of wondering uh, what her husband thinks about all this. <laughs> Since then, Clemmy's husband, Simon, has come forward with a statement of his own. He said in a post on his account, Father of Daughters. So, some people in this corner of the internet may want to know my response to what's happened over the last couple days. Frankly, I'm in a crap position as I only have two options. One, to stay silent to protect my wife and knowing that if I do, the silence will be deafening. Or two, to comment on something I had no knowledge of. It's not a fun place to be. And yet, fun is what I came to Instagram for. I don't take myself or life too seriously, but when something like this happens, I have to acknowledge it and in all honesty, Honesty, I'm feeling both angry and a bit sad. I can't condone or fully understand why Clemmy did what she did. Make no mistake about it, she made some bad choices. I just wish she could have spoken to me about this before it all got too much. Actually, if we were wishing for things, I wish it had never happened in the first place. I've seen firsthand what three years of being attacked online can do to a person and the dark places it can drive you to. I guess whereas I can happily ignore it all, she couldn't and ended up getting lost. To be clear, I'm not here to defend my wife's actions or provide excuses because I have none. What I do know is that online actions have real world consequences. This has impacted our family and it will take some time to recover. That said, away from these squares, the world keeps spinning, the leaves are turning, and we have four girls that need their parents. I will be here tomorrow doing what I do.
Wow, okay, wow. Honestly, hearing about this makes me wonder if people who write nasty comments on my videos or on my Instagram page are just troll accounts created by people who know me. Jealous people, mean people who wish they could hurt you but they can't because they don't want the repercussions. Have you guys ever gone through something like this? Let me know. And tell me your thoughts on this story down in the comments. I hope it definitely taught you a lesson about how detrimental online trolls can be. And maybe if you've been someone who's written nasty comments about people, just know that it gets into this negative cycle and it does hurt people's feelings regardless of whether or not you think that they're reading the comments. As for Clemmy, I actually hope legal action is taken against her. All right, let's wrap this one up with some comments. Melodrama said, bruh, I'm your biggest fan in the whole of Africa. Feature me already. Are you sure about that? Should I take a poll? It's Kristen and Kayla said, can I get a shout out? I'm your biggest fan. Okay, I only, I only have one biggest fan, all right? Settle down. <laughs> Avery Smith said, hey Charlotte, what's your favorite kind of tea? Oh wait, I guess you're too busy spilling it to sip it. Yeah. All right, that's it for me. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want more, and I'm gonna see you in a future IO video.